Bay windows are a beautiful feature in any home. They let in a lot of light and prying eyes. Today I'm going to show you how I solved both of those problems with light filtering pleated shades. Our dining room table is on the other side of that window to the right of the front door. Bay windows are beautiful, but they can sometimes feel like being in a fishbowl, especially if they face the front of the house. Pleated shades are a stylish way to add privacy, and you can get them corded or cordless with room darkening or light filtering fabric. There are two ways to install pleated shades on a bay window. The first is to get one big shade that spans the entire window, like we did here in our family room. But in the front of the house, we opted to install four separate shades on each of the individual windows because it looked much better on the inside. I measured the width of each window between the mullions and the height from bottom to top. These shades are custom made to your specifications, so be sure to measure twice. My windows have a flat molding across the top, so I could either put the bracket in front of that molding or put it on the molding. I wanted the shades as close to the window as possible, so I opted to put them on the molding. To do that, I added spacer blocks to keep the bracket flat. I measured two inches from each side and made a mark where I wanted the brackets. Then I pre-drilled two holes for each bracket and installed them with two screws. The shade hooks on in the front and snaps in place in the back. And they can easily be popped out to clean or paint the window. I followed the same process for the remaining windows. The last step was installing clear plastic tabs on the bottom and top rails to raise and lower the shades without touching them. Now they can be adjusted to infinite combinations from the bottom or the top. Most often we keep them all the way down for privacy, but open at the top to let in light. Check out the video description if you'd like more details about these shades. Thanks for watching. Visit my website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.